You want to hear a scary story? It's exam week. You've caught your big break. You know all the content. You've been studying hard. Six plus hours every day. Wednesday comes along, you take the exam. It's pretty good. I understand this content. It's pretty good. You finish it, submit your test, and you're done with it. And all you can do is say, I did my best. And then the next day comes and you say, yes, I have time off. I can enjoy myself. You look at your watch, you say, what the heck, it's Thursday. I didn't film on Tuesday when I said I was going to film, you know, edit, submit it on Friday. Oh no! You have to edit a video! It's the middle of the night. You wake up. Why? You have to go to the bathroom. You walk out to go to the bathroom. Everything seems normal. It's very dark. You can't see a thing and everyone in your house is asleep so you have to be quiet. You say, fine, I've done this before. I could use the bathroom. Oh no, you have to cross your little brother's room to get to the bathroom. What? I mean, well, what's so hard about that? It's, you, you just cross the room. There's nothing. He's, he's a fine boy. He's just probably asleep and everyone else is asleep. Left. Yes. Right. Left. Right. Right. Oh, you do a little bit of a... Just a little bit of a skin mm. skate right there. Something happens. What? You step on a Lego brick as you pass your brother's room. This is what they warned us about. Screams in agony on the inside, but you bite your tongue on the outside because everyone's asleep. What are you gonna do? Wake everyone up and say, I'm sorry I stepped on the Lego? So you sit silently crying, silently dying, and you still have to pee. In fact, you've peed a little bit. You've peed on yourself. How could I pee on myself like this? I mean, it's, it's light. It's not like you, you peed your whole pants. Halloween and the living is easy. You're having a good time with your friends. You're a teenager. All your friends are gonna be something cool for Halloween. What are you gonna do for Halloween? I don't know. I'm having like a little party, kind of get together. Maybe you wanna come? Yeah, of course I do. Of course I wanna be one of the few who says they have something to do on Halloween. But of course you don't have your own money, you don't have your own job, so you're gonna have to ask your mom for a costume. What are you gonna be for Halloween? You pick something that's combo of cute, kind of funny, and definitely not racist. So you say, Mom, can I get a so little money? I'm gonna go to the mall. She says, well, what are you gonna get at the mall? You know that pop-up store, Spirit? I was gonna go ahead and get my Halloween costume there. And your mom looks at you and says, what? what are you talking about? You're gonna get your Halloween costume. You. We don't celebrate Halloween in here. We don't celebrate Halloween. We don't celebrate Halloween. It's a beautiful day, but you're busy. You have several places to be. Several people to see. Oh, you are in a rush. You're walking across your campus very quickly. Someone comes up to you. A man comes up to you and he says, Hey, can I can I talk to you for a second? Can I can I talk to you for a second? Technically, do have the two seconds to tell him that you can't talk to him right now. So you turn and say, Actually, I'm I'm quite busy. I have to go. I'm in a rush. And he says, Oh, okay. Can I can I? I was just wondering if I could get your number. We could talk later. You deliberate in your mind. You say. Do I tell a lie that I have a boyfriend and run the risk of being a sinner, of celebrating the devil? Him saying that he actually just wants to be friends when he doesn't want to be friends? Do I tell the truth? Do I tell him, no, you can't have my number because I'm not. I'm just not looking for a relationship right now, I'm not very interested. And have him run the risk of just pestering you continually because nobody will take you, they won't take you seriously unless you have a boyfriend. The words don't come out. Why? You hear your grandmother's voice in the back of your head saying, If you tell a story, the devil laughs in hell and he celebrates in it and God cries, a, an angel dies and God cries a tear every time you lie. So you say, actually, sorry, I'm really busy and I'm not looking for a relationship right now. And, and the man says, Forget you then, you ugly anyways. <laughs> oh, sorry, that. You, you had, you... You need to get some cereal. You want to get some Frosted Flakes. They're not only good, they're great. Go downstairs, you pour yourself a bowl of the good old sugary flakes. You open your fridge and you uh, find out there's no milk. Well, not the good milk, because you're lactose intolerant. Not the almond milk, it's just the normal milk. And you say, hey, I'll just have one day. I'll be fine. So you pour your milk and you eat it. There's nothing bad happening right now, but for the rest of the day, you find out. Johnson is a Norman. Diarrhea. 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 Diarrhea
this one. This is one. But it looks like my eyebrows are like. Hey. <laughs>